that was a short little film I had on a nice little boat trip. I had on a Lake Windermere. And uh, this is a photograph I took. So this is the photo I'm going to use for the painting. So let's have a look at the materials. So here's my palette. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. And they are Cutman watercolour, squeezed out and allowed to dry. And then this is the large hake I use. A three quarter inch flat and a number three rigger. We've got our water jar tissue and our 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. The first thing I'm going to do is give the paper a good soaking, clean water with the large hake all over evenly, top to bottom. And I'm going to go raw sienna. Right the way down to the bottom. Not an even coat, just hit and miss all the way. Clean the brush. Take off the excess on the tea towel and then go into ultramarine. And just from the right hand side, just give that a quick sweep across. And then if you've wet it a bit too much, just watch out for the little bits dripping down and just catch them. As that come down. That'll do. Watch the reservoirs building up at the bottom. And then I might just add a bit of a, a bit of cloud. There's no cloud in the photo, but there's no harm in putting a bit in, just to try and make the sky a bit more interesting. Put those over there, I think, somewhere. A few little clouds here and there. I'll do. I'll even take the tissue and a few little more bits in the sky. I'll do for that. Next for the mountain. So it's uh, back to the sky colours, all the sky colours together, a bit of everything. And then work out where your horizon line is going to be. It's going to be quite low down. So, um, and then just get the profile. As long as it's there or thereabouts. Not even. Just take a bit of that off just to make it look as if there's a bit of snow on there. Some nice little white bits. Just create that suggestion of a bit of a bit of snow. I'll do for that. A bit of raw sienna, lemon yellow. A few trees up there. Ultramarine. Get a nice greeny colour. And then there's a few trees going up the um, mountain side. A bit darker. All the way off on the right hand side there. And then down the bottom, there's a bit more raw sienna. Raw sienna, it may be a touch of light red, but not too much red because it will soon dominate your the palette if you go crazy with that. I'll tell you what, I've forgotten to do, I've got to the reflections in on. Um, I'll sort them out after. Just trying to make sure this Horizon lines level, you don't want it slanting one way or the other. I mean, just trying to vary these trees as we go across. I'll just give that a quick uh, stretch, paper stretch. So I just want a flat surface to work with, so I'm just pulling it tight and refixing it.
that horizon looks to be sloping to me slightly, so I'm just going to try and level it up a bit. A few more trees over here. And then what I'll try and do, before the paint dries, is just scrap a few boats in. Not so much there because I'm going to put the, there's a closer little island there. So if I just get this a bit darker, a bit darker over here, just using the corner of the brush, and what I'll do, use a piece of card or I'm just going to use a palette knife here or a painting, um, shall I? Yes, I'll see how we get on. And then just a quick little scrape down. Just to suggest those little little boats there. I'm just pulling down on the corner of it. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll just try and come in a little bit closer. Actually no I won't, I can't, um, I was going to try and hold the camera and paint at the same time but I am not quite that good yet. If, um, so I'm just pulling down on the corner of the palette knife and then switch the other way. Pull the, uh, put the mass up. There's just a few little boats there. Just give the uh, impression of something happening there. Now, I want to do the reflections next. Now, normally I do them at the same time, but I, I forgot all about them. So, I'm going to have to re wet it and do it after. But before you re wet it, make sure it's dry. sure it's dry take your clean the brush clean the brush in the water and then just re-wet that section the water part take the excess off and then we want to repeat all those colours now this is why normally I'll, I'll do it at the same time you see it's a bit awkward now I've got to do the distant hills first. And then let's mix some green colours. A bit darker. More. A bit of that sort of raw sienna and uh, light ready bits there, aren't they? So this is what I do them at the same time because now I've got to keep remixing those colours again. Trying to uh, bring back to this green. Something like that, as long as it's there or thereabouts, you should get away with it. So, in fact, what I might do, I'll just quickly just reflect those, if you can just see the masts. I don't know where you can see that, if you can see the, you can see the masts going on, I'll just reflect the masts in the water. that for now. 
I'll give that a quick dry. left hand side we've got a little island so I've cleaned the brush I want some nice strong paint now so I don't have, I haven't put too much water on now I've gone raw sienna a bit of um, light red raw sienna I've just done a quick dab in the ultramarine and I'm just working out how I'm going to come so it's, it's something like that a bit of burnt umber. Well, you can see the hairs are now all over the place. So, if you end up with this situation, just dip the tips into the water and bring them all back together again. Any excess water, just take off with the uh, tea towel and you're back to a chisel edge. And it's just getting that just enough water on the brush to keep the hairs together. Because I know it's, it, it takes a bit of a uh, it takes a bit of practice but you, you will get there in the end just keep going and you'll uh, you'll get your rewards in fact I'm just going to pull these down while I'm doing it Scraping a few little, few little tree trunks in there, you can see. Don't forget the reflections. Maybe another one up there. But, no, it doesn't look very good, does it? Just paint over that one. Maybe do even a little bit of rigger. Get to the rigger, nice dark colour. something different. Uh, also in the picture there's a couple of boys, the um, ones that bob up and down on the water so I'll just put those in, something like that. Now there's no, um, I took this photo when I was uh, I was on the boat so I, just, I wasn't on the shoreline but there's nothing from stopping us from putting a shoreline in. I'll just put a just a little suggestion of one I think. So if I just go a bit of raw sienna, ultramarine, burnt umber. There you go. Just want to get those airs together. So they do my heading as well and they keep splitting. I'll just, just put a little shoreline in there. Pebbles on the beach. And 
then switch to the rigger and then I'll put, I'm just going to stick a couple of birds flying over the trees and then dark colour on the brush um, over here just very really like it, it might be signature in and I'll call that one I'll call that one finished. Let's have a closer look at it. So this is the painting. Let's have a, another quick look at the photograph. If we have a close look, first thing you see this sky, there's, there's not much happening there, it's just a uniform blue colour. So you can see in the sky, first put in some raw sienna, then the blue, then a few clouds, these are in crimson, pines grey, and then use the tissue just to dab out a few more little clouds. Just try and keep it interesting. Then the first layer in the painting are these mountains in the background. So I put the mountains in same colour as the uh, sky, and then just took out, took the paint off with the with a clean brush, just to try and suggest that bit of uh, snow on them. And then down the mountain and hillside, a whole variety of trees, different shades of green. Try to vary the greens as, as much as I can. And then with this being the uh, light wind here we've got our boats bobbing up and down. Yeah, just put the boat in very simply, just using the palette knife, just using the corner of it, scraping the paint off and then scraping the mass and not forgetting the reflections in the water. And then finally we've got our little, uh, little island here on the left hand side to help create some depth. Yeah. Pulling down those reflections into the water out there just really helps make the uh, the illusion come together. Like I said, I was in the boat so I, when I took the photo, so there was no shoreline, but I think it just helps add a little bit to the picture. As I said previously, the more layers you can get in, the better the depth. So we've got our foreground in, then we've got our little island, then the trees, and then the distant mountains, just helping with the, the overall thing so I hope you like that thanks for watching keep practicing any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon